Hey, family and friends. Well, guess what? It's that time of day. It's time for a promise a day, praying God's promises. And we are on day 28. Can you believe it? Well, as I say every day, when I did research on BibleGateway.com, they said there were 5,467 divine promises contained and laced throughout Scripture. That's a lot of promises, y'all. And if you just focus on one promise a day, it would take you 14.98 years to get through them all. That's a long time. That's almost 15 years. And we're going to do every single one of them. So buckle your seatbelts. I'm just kidding. We're going to do as many as that we can. And we've been on, we've already done 27 days. So we're doing, making a great start. So as I always say, listen, whenever you see a promise in the Bible, it's so important that you receive that promise, that you take it in and that you also respond to the father's promise. So today we're doing Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26. This comes from the New Living Translation. And it says this, it says, and I, this is God speaking through Ezekiel, and I will give you a new heart and I will put a new spirit in you. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and will give you a tender, responsive heart. Now, this is personally one of my favorite promises from the Bible. I love this promise. And so the promise that I am, there's several of them in there, but the promise that I'm receiving today is God will give me a tender, responsive heart. Can you say that? Say, God will give me a tender, responsive heart heart. That's such a good promise because sometimes I feel like my heart is not very good. Have you ever felt that way? So let's say it one more time. Put your hand over your heart and receive it. Say, God will give me a tender, responsive heart. Awesome. And then like I say, it's important that we respond to the Father. We receive the promise and then we respond to the things that he says to us. So here's the prayer that I crafted. You can say this one or you can craft your own. It says this, Father, a hard unresponsive heart is unable to live in the moment and have hope for the future. It's unable to forgive. It's unable to bless. It's unable to love fully. I'm so thankful that you have removed my stony, stubborn heart and have given me a tender, responsive heart. Because of this, I'm able to stop living in the past. I can be present in the present and can look forward to my future with hope, anticipation, and joy. Amen. All right. Well, that was a good one today. I don't know about you, but I feel a lot better. I always feel better when I receive God's promises. Well, I bless you to have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.